Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, just here on the wheel. I, I made I made one of these bottles. Um, two pieces, basically two shallow bowls, one and two, then joined face to face. Sealed um, with a piece of clay all the way around the outside, which I've then fingerprinted with the end of my finger, indented as it were. Decorative feature. I put the the foot on. And I'm just doing the neck right now. Um, yeah, it's uh, just bring it in a touch for you to see. So it lends itself to to have some kind of decoration perhaps on each window here, on each side, or not as the case may be. Yeah, so I had to throw a foot and throw a neck, which I've done, and then I had to recenter this up back up on the wheel. And I'm just playing around here with the with the top, you see, the top, the the neck here. Just trying to get that as I want it. Well, I don't really know how I want it. I'll be honest with you. I'm trying to, I'm sort of feeling my way as I go until I. Yeah. Every very very minute changes you see it does it does it does make a difference to the to the feel of the pot maybe I'll just bend it right over so now I'm going to take the clay of the, the top here and pull it right over my finger like that. Dee, dee, dee. Let's bring that camera in for a bit of detail. These are the, 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 the these are small details, but I don't know. I think they're they're, they're very important, you know, because they make. They make or break the pot, as it were. I mean, even just the angle, even just this angle here, I mean, at the moment it's like that, you see. If I make it more straight, if I make this, the, the, this, this angle on the end here, more of a flatter as it were like that yes yeah, so I'm checking in my mirror as well as I go of course giving me that I don't know if I think it looks a little better, a little bit sort of going like this, you see. Maybe, maybe slightly rounded like that. Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> yes. La, la, la. That's thrown up a little bit of a, a lip on the um, very slight, uh, very slight 
bit there you can see it's got a little bit of a on, on the by the edge there you see well things like that you see can can create an area just inside there for for pooling of the glaze you see so I'm not sure about about the neck just under there where it joins it seems to be I don't know it's sort of telling me it needs to be more concave there it looks a little bit a little bit convex you see yeah let me just have another another fiddle at that I could easily I could use my trim tool you see which has got a curve on this side perhaps to perhaps to get in there um, I could use yeah that might do the trick that might do the trick yeah de -de 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 -de. I'm actually narrowing narrowing the neck in there a little bit just in there Yeah, I'm sort of uh... Yeah, it's all the case you see. It's a little bit there's something like making this is a little bit like making a teapot where you've got to consider the different aspects of the teapot like the spout, the lid, the knob, the you know, the if it has a knob, the hand or a handle, you know, pulling all the, the different aspects of the pot together. And this is actually a little bit like that because you've got, you know, you've got the body to think about and you've got the foot and you've got the, and you've got the neck, you know. So how tall should be the neck and how narrow should be the neck and what sort of top should it have, have on it, you see. And um, I thought I'd just have a go at making one of these because I haven't made one for ages. I think they call them pilgrim bottles. Well, I, that's what I've seen. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, maybe here on this, what I might do is put a little piece of clay in the middle there, use that as a sort of visual, visual center, as it were, and then, and then do a, a radial fluted design going all the way from the center, going out like this, you see, all the way around. I think I might do that. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna quit messing with it actually for now because um, I think I'm as happy with that as I can be. Um, yeah. 
just have to release it release it down there where it's uh, joined to the wheel and uh, tidy it off thumb it round and make sure it's nice you see and um, I might even I don't know it, it, you know this this design I've seen with sort of little little ha uh, sort of make-believe handles they're not really practical handles they're a bit, a bit more of a decorative sort of kind of lugs or something just on either side here um, yeah okay well some food for thought there uh, just to I'm gonna make a few more of these I think that was actually a small one I think they were I think they were a pound each the um, the side pieces here these pieces were a pound each thanks for joining us folks big hello to all those people down there uh, at the uh, strictly strictly functional uh, 24th national show which is currently um, is currently on uh, down in Lancaster so if you're in Lancaster pop in there there's a show of strictly functional ceramics I was privileged to be the juror this year and um, and we had a workshop there as well on the on the Saturday which was which was a lot of fun and um, yeah so if you're in Lancaster way if you head there to probably best I forget the name of the the actual address I think it's the Market Street something or other but if you put in their 24th annual strictly functional show Google it it'll tell you where it is you go and visit it I've got some pots there as well a few pots for sale uh, as well as all the other great works that were there it was a tremendous show real show of um, artistic talent and quality craftsmanship and uh, it was it was good to see indeed yeah it was <laughs> apart from that um, my schedule is here I'm um, working away I, I do have some workshops down uh, I'm going to my next place I'm going to go visit is the I'm down at Cape Fear Studios down in Fayetteville North Carolina at the end of October so a big hello to all those guys down there in North Carolina. And yeah, apart from that, uh, pottery wheels, leech treadle wheels, if anybody's interested, taking orders for them, for the kit wheel, get in touch with me via my website, or you can write to me at simonleechpottery at gmail.com. Yeah, other than that, I've got a bunch of tankards way over there yonder huh. waiting for handles so I better guess better get on and pull some handles and get on with them hey it's all about practicing isn't it so keep practicing and I'll see you in the next video bye bye now